And welcome back. There is a new photo exhibit over at Randy Bacon's studio on historic C Street. It is called Words and Pictures. It highlights the power of literacy through portraits and stories. To my right here, Amy Jardell is the executive director at the Ozarks Literacy Council. And Dr. Sharita Thomas-Tate is the founder of Ujima Literacy and Language, also an associate professor in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders at Missouri State. Thank oh, you both for coming on. Well, thank you. They, they got you, right? At, that's a <laughs> lot to, yeah, a very, very impressive titles there. Okay. How did this photo exhibit come about? It's actually a revision of one that Randy did for us 20 years ago. Wow. And he said it was, um, at that time, that was the first collection show that he had ever done. So, and I found um, some records of it in archives and I approached him and, uh, to see if he might be willing and do, to do something like that with us again, just to promote literacy yeah. in our community. And he said, absolutely. So um, there was a couple of people who were in the show previously. David Harrison mm -hmm. was in the show 20 years ago and um, Robert Pitts was in the show 20 years ago and he was in this one as well. So we put our heads together and came up with a list of people who have great stories to tell about how literacy has affected their lives yeah. and help, help them affect the lives of others. And uh, it's just really turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous exhibit with beautiful stories and... Let's look at some of these portraits. Yeah. Um, it's, it's okay, so there's the, this is, again, this is what it's called, words and pictures. How many portraits all together? 21. 21, mm -hmm. okay. Um, you really do, well, Who's There's that? Today. Yeah. So here's the, Randy calls me up. He goes, we would like for you to be a part of this photo exhibit. And I said, you know, I think of literacy as the great novels, you know, reading these books. And I said, you know, I read so much on my phone. I read scripts. I write scripts. And he said, Joy, that's a, a, a twist oh, on this. <laughs> here's Sharita. So we all tell our story about how literacy has shaped us. Mm -hmm in one way or the other. Um, and I believe we have a couple, there's some very young people mm -hmm. in this exhibit as well. And now this is Briley and Ashlyn. Yes, they were students of ours. Um, Briley just graduated. So uh, they are at grade level now and it took them a little while to get there. They had some struggles, but uh, they really had wonderful tutors, which they called reading coaches. <laughs> and they still have great relationships with those women. They're very supportive. And these, these young ladies have a lot to be proud of. They worked hard. And that's what the Literacy Council does, mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't cost you anything. You can no. just go and get the help you need, and we're so lucky to have you. By the way, get out your phones, because here in a second we're going to show you a QR code mm -hmm. where you can actually scan that and you can look at these at home. Well, there it is. Okay, so if you have your phone, open up your camera, take a photo, and it will take you to the Words and Pictures exhibit, and you actually have some students from Central High School yes, that the, read out loud our stories. Yep, the media production class at Central, they actually recruited adults to try and uh, match the photo with the voice because we weren't able to get everybody on board to read their own pictures, yeah. but, uh, their own stories, but they did an amazing job, made an individual QR code for each person for each story. So, because we do have some um, participants in the show that would not have been able to read all the stories and enjoy them. Right. So we wanted to make sure that they were accessible for everybody. Right. But go in and see it if you if you get a chance. Now, Sharita. Yes. Uh, you started Ujima. Yes. Six years ago, was About it? Six years ago. Okay. Tell me how that works. So, uh, Ujima Language and Literacy is a uh, nonprofit. It started out of my class that I teach at Missouri State. Right. I teach speech language pathologist, um, and I teach a, a, a class for the graduate students called School Age Language and Literacy. And while I teach a lot of things that they don't often have an opportunity to, Im to implement, mm -hmm. uh, particularly with a diverse population of students. Right. So we went over to the Midtown area and over to the Bartley Decatur Neighborhood Center and did a literacy fair. And uh, we didn't get a great turnout, but what happened out of that? My students enjoyed it. Uh, and we decided that it was important to build community there, to get involved in that neighborhood, um, and let people know that we're not just here for a one-time event, but we're going to stay there for a while. Right. So we started doing um, a summer literacy camp that runs three weeks in the summer, and we also do family literacy nights once a month. So you encourage reading. You encourage reading mm -hmm. with the family, reading yes. to the kids. But you yes. want to keep those kids engaged. Yes, we over want the whole summer break. family to yeah. read. Uh, kids who have parents who read read more. Yep. Kids who are in a liter literacy rich environment read more. Yep. So we want the parents to read. We want them to start reading as to the kids as babies and continue to read to them even when they're older. And yes. you know, some of the people in the photo exhibit. There's the one gentleman who actually retired from Boeing. Yes. And really didn't learn to read until after yes. that. He comes to you guys. He's and now, 80. Yeah. He's 80 years old. 
Yep. Every one of these has a, a really compelling story. Um, the website's here, ozarksliteracy.org and Ujima Mo. Dot org, yes. And you can see this words and pictures exhibit at Randy Bacon's studio. It's on West Commercial Street up until about the 28th of May. Yes. Correct? Yes. All right. Please very come good. by and see it. It's amazing. There went my pillow. All right. <laughs> uh, Amy and Sharita, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And I was honored us. to be a part of it. Thank Great. you for allowing me to be part of it. Well, we're Thanks. glad you were there. And good work on your part. Thank okay. You.